Genesis 3 verse 9 is still our text. And the words, where are you, are for today. Our heading, an arousing sense. Adam, where are you? Lost, lost to your God. Lost to happiness. Lost to peace. Lost in time. Lost in eternity. Sinner, where are you? Oh, that I might, by the earnest words which I shall now utter, stir up some callous, careless sinner to answer the inquiry for himself. Man, where are you? Firstly, how many are there of you who have never repented of sin, have never believed in Christ? I ask you, is your conscience easy? It is easy, it's always easy. Are there not sometimes when the thunder will be heard? Are there not some seasons when the watchman lights its candle and searches the, the, the parts of your hearts, of your soul, and discovers your iniquity? Where are you then? For conscience is to God what the hook is to the fisherman. Conscience, like God's hook, is in your jaw today, and he has but to draw in the line, and you are in an consuming fire. Secondly, though conscience makes you smart, justice shall be far sterner with you than the poor imperfect conscience. If your heart condemn you, God is greater than your heart and know all things. Your conscience tells you that you are wrong. Oh, how wrong then must you be? Many of you seldom think of him. You can spend days and weeks without mentioning of his name. You cannot live without the friend, but you can live without your God. You eat, you drink, you are satisfied. The world is enough for you. Its transcendent pleasures satisfy your spirit. If you saw God here, you would flee from him. You are an enemy to God. Application. Oh, is this the right case for a creature to be in? Let the question come to you. Where are you? Must not that creature be in a very pitiable position? Who is afraid of his creator? You were made to glorify him. You were made to rejoice in his presence and to delight in the goodness of him. I pray, merciful God, have mercy on your lost elect. In Jesus' name.